reform is finally going to happen this year, Democrats still have one giant obstacle standing in their way. His name is Bart Stupak. Democratic Congressman Bart Stupak of Michigan has threatened for the last week to pretty much anyone who will listen to bring down the health reform bill if the anti-abortion language he prefers is not in it. And Bart Stupak says he's not just speaking for Bart Stupak, he is speaking for the Stupak dozen. There are at least 12 of us who voted for health care who have indicated to the leadership and others that unless you fix this abortion language, we can't vote for a final version of the bill. As Democrats in the House scramble to find every last vote they can to pass health reform, a 12-vote block committed to voting no just might be the single biggest obstacle they face. And so Democrats have apparently started negotiating with Congressman Stupak, who told reporters yesterday, quote, I'm more optimistic than I was a week ago. I think we can get there. So where exactly is there? Joining us now is Democratic Congresswoman Diana DeGette of Colorado. She's co-chair of the Congressional Pro-Choice Caucus. Congresswoman DeGette, thank you for joining us tonight. Good to be with you. In terms of the substance of Congressman Stupak's complaint, he claims the federal bill would allow federal funding of abortion. Is that correct? Uh, Congressman Stupak is completely wrong. The, the House version that we passed before, or the, the one we considered before his amendment, had a compromise that we reached in my committee, which kept the status quo in place, because we want this to be a health care bill, not an abortion bill. So we agreed that we would keep current law that says no federal funding for abortion. That language was also contained in the Senate version that was passed. So there's nothing in the law as it stands right now that would allow federal funding for abortion. Congressman Stupak appears to be negotiating at, at some level behind the scenes here. Is there room for any kind of deal? I mean, it sounds like there was a deal struck. Is there room for a deal now with, with Congressman Stupak? Well, we certainly all are always willing to talk to Congressman Stupak and anybody else. But the Pro-Choice Caucus, which has 190 members, has really said, we are not going to agree to final legislation that restricts a woman's right to choose beyond current law period. And what Congressman Stupak wants to do is to ban people who want to buy insurance with their own private money in these insurance exchanges from doing so. And that would be a vast expansion of a restriction on a woman's right to choose, and we can't agree to that. Would the members of your caucus, if, if, if there was some deal struck with Congressman Stupak, if, if the final legislation looked more like things that were in the Stupak Amendment than the version of the Senate bill, would those 190 members really vote against the ultimate health reform bill? Is that what you're saying? After Congressman Stupak passed his amendment in the House version, which said no, nobody could buy insurance in these exchanges with their own private dollars if it included abortion coverage, I circulated a letter, and the letter simply said to Speaker Pelosi, we are not going to vote for a final version of the bill if it restricts a woman's right to choose beyond current law. Forty people signed that letter. I've gone back and checked with all those 40 people plus additional people, probably about 10 or 15 more, who say if a final bill restricts a woman's right to choose beyond current law, we're not going to vote for the bill. And so I think, I, I, I mean, we're, we can't use this as a vehicle to restrict a woman's right to choose. History shows that if we pass a restriction on a woman's right to choose, we'll never get that back. And we think women should be entitled to have a full range of reproductive services under their insurance. They have it now. They can go out and buy insurance policies with their own money that gives them full reproductive services. We believe they should be able to get that under this bill, too. We don't think we should give up a woman's right to choose as the devil's bargain to get health care. Democratic Congresswoman Diana DeGette of Colorado, co-chair of the Congressional Pro-Choice Caucus, thank you for your time tonight. Good to be with you. Thank you.